Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here at the Great Blue Heron statue of the Tennessee River Park. And surrounding this statue is a fabulous garden of various styles of wildflowers. And I'm going to try to get some photographs of these wildflowers and maybe some insects on these wildflowers here in this fantastic garden this morning. I'm using the R7 and my Mikey MK320 flash and the Crafty Bells diffuser and the RF100 macro lens. So let's get started. All right, let's get right into the pictures. First up is this F10 shot of a brown eyed Susan that hasn't quite fully opened yet. Next up, it's another F10 shot, this one of a small beetle that was on one of the leaves of, I guess, probably one of the brown eyed Susans. Then I went down to the walking path and on the blue handrail was this house fly. So I got this shot, another F10 shot of the house fly. F10 is kind of my favorite up close aperture. Here's another fly. This one's on one of the flowers. I went back up to the area where the flowers were. And then next up, I took another brown eyed Susan shot, just a fully open flower. Really beautiful. Love the bokeh background, even at F10 when you shoot really up close. I started out shooting at F10, which is kind of the aperture that I've become comfortable with shooting up close and trying to get a bug on a flower but there's not very many insects out here that i'm seeing this morning so i started photographing flowers and eventually i decided that i had too much depth of field so i went all the way to as wide open as f4 and made a shot of a trio of unopened blooms that i thought turned out really beautiful i scooted a little bit further back for this composition so i could get the two blooms in the background or maybe buds in the background in the shot and when I did, there was so much depth of field that it looked way too cluttered. So I opened it up to F4 and I love the way this one turned out with the bokeh blooms in the background. I used F4 on this coneflower shot as well, but I might could have gone all the way to 2.8 on this one. There is a pretty good bit of clutter in the background this time. I've stepped a pretty good ways away from the garden where I started now and I've come down this handicap ramp which leads to a fishing pier. And I found these day flowers. I think they're called day flowers. And this particular one right here, if I can get it in the frame, I made a shot or two of it. And it was another one where I thought F2.8 turned out the best. So let's take a look at the day flower shot at 2.8 with the macro lens. I've learned that they got their name day flower because their blooms only last one day. So I guess I picked the right day to make this flowers photograph. And at 2.8, you can see the background is nice and soft, but the flower still has lots of detail because I took the shot from a little bit further back than a normal macro shot. Just five or six feet away from the day flower, I found, uh, well, first I found an ant, which I'm not sure if I got a decent shot of. And then I found some unusual looking flies that were mating over here. So I got a shot of that. I wasn't happy with the ant shot, but here are the mating flies. Really interesting flies. I've never seen a fly that looks quite like this before. I'm used to much darker colors. Then I went down to the fishing pier and made a photograph of these two black vultures, which at F10, they're both in focus. So that's pretty cool. Plus only using a 100 millimeter lens for bird photography is unusual. And then as I came back out, I did get an ant photograph that I was happy with. This little black ant on the blue hand railing that leads up the handicap path back to the upper area. I'm back up here at the main garden now and I made a really soft, almost high key photograph of these pink flowers behind me. Just one bloom with everything else bokeh I really love the looks of these shots where you're at a fairly wide aperture with a subject that is very much in focus or pretty well in focus and everything else is completely bokeh and soft. I think it looks very pretty. And then for this one, I went back to F10 so I could get some depth of field way up close to get a photograph of this bee. I chased this bee around for quite some time and this was the only shot that I made that I was happy with. Okay, that's gonna do it for me here today at this beautiful garden at the Tennessee River Park. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see some more stuff like this, subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.